The type of women you run into at a place like this are silly, useless, vapid. Well, hooray for male chauvinism. Dorothy, I'm serious. Hazel wouldn't like those snobs any more than they'll... Well, then you would. Oh, for Pete's sake, Mr. B. If I don't like them, I'll just ignore them. I'll be too busy being pampered to let them bother me. But Hazel... If you'll excuse me, Mr. B, I want to wash out my fancy nighty. I can't show up at the Rancho Verde with my flannel PJs. <laughs> George, what really worries you is just the opposite of what you told Hazel, isn't it? Well... You're afraid those wealthy phonies are going to give her a rough time because she's a maid, right? As rain. Dorothy, you mark my words. Hazel's leaving herself wide open for a large dose of hurt feelings. I know it's good for the archers, but I can't do it. Louise. You want to see what $23 billion looks like? She's here. This is Forbes Craigie in person. Thank you, Martin. She looks older than she does in the pictures in the society pages. Well, naturally, darling, so do you. <laughs> if you used yours on a passport, you'd never get back in the country. All right, darling, we're even. Let's sit down and look casual. Ah, come in. Welcome to Rancho Verde, Mrs. Forbes Craigie. Thank you. I'll call you at the motel if I need you. Very well, madam. Have a nice rest. Thank you, Martin. I'm Mrs. Camden, your hostess. How do you do? And this is Robert. He'll show you to your room. Before you go, there are two other guests I'd like to have you meet. Will you come this way, please? Mrs. Willoughby, Mrs. Carter, Mrs. Forbes Craigie. How do you do? <laughs> it's awfully nice meeting you, Mrs. Forbes Craigie. Yes, terribly. <laughs> you three and Miss Burke, who is due to arrive here today, will be having all of your activities together. Oh, lovely. We'll really get to know each other. <laughs> yes. I expect by the time this is over, we'll be old friends. Well, not old friends, but perhaps new friends. <sighs> <laughs> Mrs. Camden, I'd like to go to my room, please. I've had a rather long drive. Of course. Robert, room 12. Anna will unpack your bag. Thank you. This way, madam, please. <laughs> oh, it was very nice meeting you, Monty, and thanks for letting me drive the truck. I never drove a truck like that before. It was my pleasure. And thanks for saving me the fare from the airport. Oh, that's okay. It was on my way. So long, Hazel. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. I wonder if our other members are Brookline Burke. <gasps> that would be lovely. Mrs. Forbes, Craigie, and a Brookline Burke. Ah. Right the first time. <laughs> If that's our fourth, she doesn't look very Brookline. More like the end of the line. She doesn't look as if she can afford to be here. Oh, boy, this is even snazzier than it was in the end. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Burke. Uh, before you go do your room, I'd like you to meet two of the other women in your group. Oh, sure. Oh, Robert will take your bag for you, Miss Burke. <laughs> Boy, they sure give you the once-over here, don't they? I'm glad I wore my fancy petticoat in case it shows. <laughs> Will you come this way, please? Miss Burke, Mrs. Carter, Mrs. Willoughby. Mrs. Carter, Mrs. Willoughby. Ow! <laughs> Did I hurt your hand? <laughs> it's all right. It's my ring. Oh, boy, will you look at the size of that zircon? That is a diamond. It's real? You're kidding. Well, of course it's real. Well, let me give you a tip. Don't ever leave it on the windowsill when you're washing the dishes. I had an opal ring of mine go right down the drain. I'm sorry I hurt your hand, but I couldn't help it. You know, you have kind of a limp handshake. Oh. I hope you ladies will be a congenial group, as you'll have all of your activities.